Hello YouTube, this is Carlos with CHS Electronics and I have a new video for you today and this video is about a circuit board I made that depicts the logo on my channel. So I don't know if you can see very well but if you can see my logo on the circuit board there and this is the schematic. Very simple. All that we have is a microcontroller with a whole bunch of LEDs, a few filter caps, a programming port, a power uh, voltage regulator, 5 volt regulator, and a power input jack. And that's all there is to it. Not much, but uh, it's pretty cool once you see it working. Here's a detailed uh, view of the circuit board. Uh, I made an effort to try and route some traces on the top of the board although the majority is, is laid out on the bottom but uh, you won't see any traces in between the letters for example the outer edge is the C these uh, two bars here make an H and then of course the S and uh, you can see everything here is pretty much trying to keep traces within the letters but not on the outside and you, well, you only see those on the back this is the blank board I like the way it came out <clears throat> I think it looks really good it's really shiny uh, very I think it's very beautiful not just because I made it I just think because it looks really good uh, this is the front. Let me show you the back. Back side here has all the information, my part numbers. And as you can see, there's all the traces uh, that are that are coming out the back so that it doesn't show through the front. Anyways, uh, let's, let's put this thing together and uh, show you what it can do. Uh, up next is a time lapse of the build. It took a little over well, a little over two hours and forty minutes, but I uh, I sped it up and I condensed it down to ten minutes. So if you want to uh, fast forward past the build towards the end where I do the final assembly and turn it on, then go right ahead. It's about ten minutes long for the. For the final build or sorry for the uh, for the soldering portion but uh, here you go that's what it looks like without any components <clears throat> uh, please enjoy the show and uh, like I said if you want to fast forward towards the end it's about 10 minutes long all right
Well, here's the board, completely assembled. Everything is in the back. Can't see too well. Here's what the back looks like. It ain't too pretty, but it works for now. This is just a potentiometer I use to uh, adjust speed and settings or, or different uh, LEDs, LED settings. But uh, let's put this together and uh, let's let's see it work. So all this is is a picture frame that I bought at my local uh, hobby shop or hobby store. The name of the store is called Michaels. It's just a regular picture frame, and I bought some uh, reflective uh, film and I put it on the edge all the way around, as you can see. Uh, this is the backing to the to that frame. So all I'm going to do now is just put it right side up first. And then put my board in there and it looks like I may need some spacers or I can just bend these down a little bit but uh, this should pretty much take care of that uh, that board popping out just bend these down a little bit keep this in place And hopefully it doesn't look too bad. We'll see from the other side. There we go. Up. Oh. a few smudges here and there, but nothing drastic. Anyways, that's how it looks when it's turned off. Why don't we look at it and uh, see what it looks like once we turn it on? Okay. Here's the board and the frame and uh, it's plugged into my uh, programmer and it's ready to go and ready to be turned on and see what it does now there's a few settings on it depending on the on the position of the of the potentiometer uh, when I have it turned down all the way all it does is turn my LEDs on which can't see it too well but it's in there. I think I need to clean that glass a little bit more. So, there you go. Right now, the pot's turned down all the way. So, as I turn it up slowly, as you can see, it begins to blink. And the more I turn it, the faster it blinks. So, as I keep going, I can get it to stroke fairly quickly. But then once it reaches a certain point, it um, it goes into the next uh, LED uh, display settings. And basically all it does now is use a pseudo random uh, number generator to display, the, to turn on the LEDs and, and at different times and different uh, or a different pattern should I say so uh, when you first get to this to this settings it, it's real slow but like with the other one you know you the more you turn the pot the faster it goes and you can make it look fairly cool I think by doing it that way and then once you go past that next uh, trip point then it does the alternates and it just turns on every other LED and uh, it starts slow and as you turn the pod again it, it makes it go faster and that looks a little funky but I don't know if I want to keep that setting or not uh, so there it goes it's pretty fast and then the last one that's uh, my favorite here, which is the uh, fading LED or the Night Rider effect for for any of those uh, that remember uh, Night Rider the series back in the 80s. So at this point, the pod is pretty much turned all the way up. So all it does is that, and 
Well, that's the project. That's how it looks. It's in a box. I still need to get the, the power pack. And I think I, uh, I can order one from uh, Mauser or maybe even All Electronics from California. They're, they're pretty cheap, but they take forever to get here. But uh, they sell some pretty good stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it. I know I do. I, uh, I had one, uh, I made one already for a friend and uh, I sold it to him and he, was, he seemed to be very happy with it. Although his had white LEDs and mine has blue LEDs and his didn't come in a case, it was just a bare board or should I say the board, uh, fully loaded board but not within uh, a frame or a box or anything like that. But anyways, I hope you guys like it. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, do subscribe. And uh, I'll try to make another video uh, here soon. And you guys uh, have a good Thanksgiving and uh, happy holidays. Thanks for stopping by.